and good morning. This is Charlie. As you can see, he's no longer in that first flush of youth. In fact, he was well past his three score years and ten before his son William was even born. Stephen was just a teenager when Stephen Jr. came along. Who makes the better father, the young or the old? This morning we're trying to find out by looking at the joys and the problems of late fatherhood. Charlie, how old were you when you had your last son, child? He must have been 76. You were 76? 76 at least, I'm over 80 now, so. And this child is four years old. Um, how old is your wife? Uh, she is 42. So what age did you get married? She was 18 when I married her. <coughs> you were how old? And I was 56. Right. And how many children have you had since you were 56? Uh, we have five children. <coughs> the eldest is uh, 23. Uh, we had the first straight away, yeah. or within the 12 months. And then they've been spaced out. The second one was a daughter. She is 14 years old. And then so there you had her when you were 18 now, she's 14. What's that, 66? You had a daughter when you were 66? Yeah. Well. Right. And uh, then Headley, he's now nine years old. And you had Edley when you were 71. Pretty good at mental arithmetic. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Good. And then Samuel. At, how old were you when you had Samuel? He's seven years old. And you were, so you were 73? <coughs> Yeah. And then, uh, where you, where you get all your energy from, William. Charlie? <laughs> Named after Willie Carson because I was working there, you see. <laughs> I, I still work at, at 80, you know. I've got jobs I can go to. What do you do? I'm gardening now. You, I, I was a dairy farmer and a stud owner, but. You were. I got the habit, I expect. <laughs> What's the advantages of being an older father? Well, you have to be one to, to realize the difference. When you're a young parent, you're, you're busy at something or other. We were busy dairy farming. And of course, the children came just the same, but they didn't get the same attention, therefore not the same love. If we're out milking the cows. Well, I remember the first daughter. She was in the pram in front of the cows, in the forebay where we feed them while we were milking them. And that's how... Uh, they didn't, don't get the same attention. So you, you but when you're, we retired from farming when I married Anne because the responsibility was too great to leave to a young girl of 18. I was 56. And we planned to do it anyway because the farm workers were having a better time than the farmers. Of course they were. <laughs> so you, you, and, are you, are you saying you've got more time, you're a better father now? Oh, yes. Give them all the time in the world and don't they give you some love if they've got the chance to do it. Do you reckon he's My a better goodness. father than, than, than you are, Stephen? <coughs> well, I'm not saying he's a better father. Well, I don't mean it like that, but an older father is a better one. No, I disagree. I think me and Stevie are really close now, being young. How old were you? I was 17 when I was So you're right at the other end of the, yeah. the spectrum. And how old is Steve now? Steve's 16. Seven, so 16. 16 17, yeah. So what do you feel about what Charlie's saying? He's got more time? Well, without being too derogatory, he's not going to be around for much longer, is he? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that nastily, no, but another 20, nasty, 30 years. But uh, I think there's a long, long way to go yet. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it is for you. But do older fathers make the better fathers? Do they, Roy? No. no. Do they? I think Definitely so. Yeah. Why? Well, I had three when I was young. So, uh, your point, you said. Uh, younger fathers don't have the time, but you, you weren't a younger father. You can't get them but you weren't time. a younger father, you see. You were 50 odd when you had your first. I had my first at 23. No, Charlie had others before I that. I was nearly 34 when I married in the first place. Yeah. But okay, how but old I, were you? I, I did have children at 23, 25, and 27, 29. So I was a younger father. And then a long gap. My uh, youngest son is 35. <coughs> so a long gap before these two came along. How old are you now? Uh, 65. And how old are these two? Uh, Alice is two and a half, right. and Sophie, wherever she is, is uh, one and a half. And this is all your family, all your confusing that's right. family yes, here. That's right. They're the answer uh, of, <laughs> tell me, explain some of this relationship. Well, I couldn't work it well, out earlier on this morning. This is Christopher, he's my middle son. Right. And so how, old is, how old is Christopher? 38. You're 38. And this is your brother and sister here, right? No, that's no. my sister. Your sister, yeah, well, yeah. And there's another sister somewhere, she's disappeared. And these are my two lads. 
So your two are the same as your dad's, more or less the same yes. age as your dad's yes. two. Is there, are there, in fact, this is their aunt. Yes. But their aunt's That's what? Right, yeah. Younger than them, presumably. Yeah. Yeah, aunt and uncle are younger. A little Sophie's even younger. You, you go along with your choices. You've got more time. You're a bit, are you a better oh, well, father? I, are you a better father to Sophie now than you were to Christmas? Yes. Yeah. That's not He's very got right. more time. Well, <laughs> I, now, now, uh, now I've retired, you see. I've got all the time in the world. I. Um, I look after them two days a week. I got, even got a tumble tots on Wednesday morning. You were aware? Tumble tots. <laughs> what is tumble tots? It's do? a big hall where there's uh, all the play equipment, and I'm there with all the young birds, <laughs> or with, the, <laughs> with their children, and and, uh, and I take my two, and Which we have a great time. No, no, no. I don't think they've got as much energy when they're that old. Oh, don't you? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no I'm playing football over the park. With I'll them. tell you something. Yeah. I don't feel a day older than I did when I was 18. Yeah, but you might not live much longer, mightn't you? I might, I'm, I'm, but I've had a good time, haven't I? Well, you I? could go for an hundred, but I think... But I, I, I'm, mm. I, I'm, I'm probably as fit as most people, and uh, I'm still having a good time. What made you start another family again? Once well, you my wife died, up? and I didn't... I really seriously said I would never marry again, but um, Judith and I worked together, and gradually we started living together and then got married. It took us uh, several years debating whether we should have children, <coughs> but finally I gave in. Do older fathers make the better fathers? Where are the older fathers? Do you make better? Do you make better? Oh, we've got one behind me. Yeah. Do you make a better father? How old are you? I'm 71. Yeah. And my son is 12. So you had your son at what? 50? 56. Why so uh, late? 50, right. Why? Uh, well, it, uh, my daughter, uh, she's 23, and uh, <coughs> by the time uh, uh, my son was born, I thought I would have a son. I wanted one. Uh, my daughter was doing things that, you know, what a father kind of do for a daughter. Yeah. Uh, mother was working. I would work on night work, so I had plenty of time. Then I uh, said, well, we'll have another go. So Richard came along. And now Richard's 12. Now, is this Richard? No, no, no my, my son, he's at school. He wanted to come, and I said, no, you go to school. School comes first. And his... Older men aren't... What are you looking like? Look, you see, can you see the way Stephen... Look yeah. at the way Stephen... I don't know what, he, what, what that expression on his face is supposed to mean, but he's reacting yeah. quite... quite. What are, you, what are you saying? Well, how often is your son going to get a chance to go on telly? Why did you say Why no? Why did you say no and send him to school? What difference My one boy's day education make? comes first. Sorry? My son's education comes first. He's not going to miss a lot in a day, is he? Oh, one yes. Day. Oh, yes. See, because if so difference. much of his curriculum is missed, where can he pick it up again? What are you I saying? There's a difference in the generations. Too yeah. strict. Yeah. 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 No, too my strict. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. Go on. They rebel. My son there, he's, he's, he's as active as I am. I'm 71. I hold five belts in contact karate. My son holds belts in karate. You say a man that... You better watch what you say now, there, <laughs> <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> you notice how he's gone quiet now. <laughs> Here's proof of the pudding. What is your karate book? That's my karate book. Okay, we believe you, you don't there need the proof. <laughs> but uh, they're saying in a way, but Stephen was kind of suggesting that because you were older, you had a kind of different attitude to your son, you wouldn't let him be here today. Is that... No. Rob, can I say something? You were I saying, had to yes. drag my son here, he didn't want to come. Oh, thanks, we don't need you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> are they, are they, yeah, Stephen, Rob, Stephen. Can I little, just say, younger Stephen. That, um, I wanted to come today, but uh, I was here last week off school and I've been watching the... Discussions yeah, but, is your, is your, are you saying but what I'm saying is, uh, I think you should have brought your son along so he could talk with you. Do you know what your son thinks about yeah, having an older... We're your opinion, aren't we? We're not getting your son's opinion as You're well. putting your opinion across, but your son hasn't got a chance to say what you say goes for him as well. Oh. Whereas I'm with my mum and dad, and <coughs> they're sitting there, but they won't stop me <coughs> saying from what I want to say. Well, my, my son is one of the lads like that... Uh, when they're in a crowd, he withdraws. What are you saying oh. then that his son, do you think, would feel differently? Yeah, yeah I think so. I think he should have had the choice. He's, He's shy. He should have been allowed to come. And he's like, you've got to go to school. He should have been able to make the decision. Do you feel there's a... You, you all shouted yes, no, and they're arguing about whether or not somebody should have been here on cure, because there's no argument about that, is there? They should be here on cure. <laughs> of course they should. Yeah. What we're asking, is there a generation gap? Is that a problem with an older... Whatever, is that one of the disadvantages? Yes, I, I think it is, because um, the gentleman there said um, his Charlie. son had... Char Charlie? I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's OK. Charlie. I'm just trying to make sure I know who you're talking about. Charlie said um, he wanted his son to come, and he obviously discussed it with his son, Stephen. Um, but the gentleman at the back... Oh, Stephen, no, 
that's two Stevens. Two Stevens. Yeah, I'm getting very confused. I'm talking about um, the gentleman here in the green, yeah, Stephen. Yeah, two Stevens. Yeah. yeah, he obviously discussed it with his son, Stephen, but Charlie at the back obviously didn't even give him the opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. What about, oh, yeah, go on, Judith. I don't think that's anything to do with the generation gap. I think that's something to do with attitudes. Um, yes. I think in <coughs> ten years' time, well, sort of Roy here would, here, would see yeah. coming to the right. studio as an education in itself. Yeah, um, but, but attitudes are different, aren't they? We're a product of where we come from, you know, who we are, I'm how sure. old we are, your generation, your background. You're a product of your age. I, I, isn't that a problem with, with you and Roy? Well, with Roy, that because he's a product of a different age, there is going to be that gap between him and Sophie and all the others. There. I think there could be a there could be a problem, but there isn't in our particular case. I think there isn't as yet because our children are too young. But there's, some, I'm so sorry. there's something in the uh, in the letters that make me agree with what uh, Steve said because all the letters I get, which are uh, from people who've got elderly parents, their only complaint is that um, they're uh, they've been restrictive and and, uh, you know, and dominating and sometimes overprotective. So that's what they resent about it. Come on, woman, you're not getting away with that shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Well, my dad was so tolerant of me when I was a teenager. He, um, my mum was quite ill, and therefore he was much better than the younger dads. Like, when we started going to discos, he was out at one or two o'clock in the morning. What, your dad coming, was? Yeah, and coming and picking How us up. How old were you then? Oh, yeah. was, How old were you, dad? You are about 66. Something like that, How old yes. are you now? 77. How old were you when you had your daughter? 52. What, did you... Feel then there was going to be problems. Were you, was there any anxiety, any concern, any worry about you being the wrong age to have a? a, a an well, I had two. I had two children by my first marriage. My first wife died. I looked after both those children when they were babies. Took my part in, in caring for them. My only problem when Rachel came along was that she seemed so little. I was afraid she'd break if I when I went to put a nappy on her. She didn't. <laughs> Not now, she said. <laughs> what it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you were, what would you say is the major advantage of being an older father? More time. More time, you yes, said, Rachel. Has so. he had more time for you? You yeah, feel that? I mean, he was there when more I came home. More experienced as well, yeah. more but experienced. When I, came home from school, yeah. when I came home from school at lunchtime, he was always there. <coughs> He'd have my lunch ready for me and everything, yeah. just like a mum would. My husband's would. been there, my husband's on but nights. The, it, so it, that's yeah. just the same. where your dad was meeting you from the discos, we go with them to the discos. He's I been in a disco. He's been in a local disco. It is awful <laughs> choice, I must, In all honesty, but I think I would have died if my parents had come to a disco with me. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Absolutely died. Why? 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 I don't say we spend all evening. Right. Well. They're quite young, yeah, and they're... Your mum and dad? Yeah, they yeah. were saying, you were saying about uh, coming to pick us up from the discos. Well, mum and dad can pick us up. We take it in turns, like, one day my mum will pick us up. And that. But because I play a lot of rugby... And, like, it's our social it's like, life. Mm -hmm. It's the whole family. It's yeah. not just me. I don't it's say not that I spend all evening with him at the you disco. Feel that you're almost living your lives through your children's yeah, as opposed no. to having no, had your they life don't, before like, you we had go your to children the rugby club. like Roy did. I mean, he had children, if you like, at the standard age. This is your dad, the, the father of little law. Sophie 60, this is your father-in-law, Roy's your father-in-law, yeah. yeah. Um, he's, he's had his, his life when he was younger, when he had his first family. Now he's had his second family and he's much more patient with them, he's more time. Money's not the problem that it That's is with a younger family, like patience, you yeah. see, so... I'll, I'll give you financially, yeah, but when, it's a struggle like, when you're... When, you, when you're old now, that's when you want to rest, right? You, you can have a laugh yeah. now. When, you, when, you're, when you're young, we can run about and do what we want to do. But when, when we're old, we... still run about with our children. Well, you still run about with your children right. for how long? My dad died when I was, when I was young, mm. and I miss my dad now, you, you get me? I never had a dad when I was young. My dad died when... I was young, 24, my dad died. I wish he was here now, you know? I've never I seen my dad. I don't see he was why you keep on insisting that because we're old, we're not active. I was rolling. Yeah, well, I'm not saying old, you're not active, but my dad died when I was young. Well, if it, if it, my, dad, right, I, my dad had me at 50s, 50 odd. But you're trying and he, he to didn't imply, give me no time in his life, you get me? You're trying to imply that when you're older, you're not uh, active. But I'm not saying I you're not active. I am. Do you don't not you feel it? that you can relate, though, being that much younger? Sorry? You can relate. You c I can. <laughs> My children have come to me and speak to me about what's happening in their lives, and it's not so long ago that I was actually going through that myself. Mm. Well, of course, my two little ones aren't up to the stage where they can start asking me yeah. questions yet, so I don't really know. Where am I? Sorry. I think it's really selfish, actually, to have children when you're older. 
I'm the product. Selfish. Yeah. I mean, you deprive your parents of their grandchildren. Yeah. You deprive your own children of their children's grandparents as this, well. Roy, I don't Charlie, agree with listening that. to this. It's selfish. No. It's selfish, Roy. I don't agree with that. That's totally no, no reaction. <laughs> no. Well, I, what are you? <laughs> it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Yeah. It's rubbish. It's, that is rubbish. I'm not being selfish by having children. No, that's rubbish. <laughs> it's got to be rubbish. rubbish. Why is it? I think that's stupid because my father was 60 when I was born and I th he was brilliant. He was like having like a living history book for part of the time as I got older. Okay, he died when I was 14, but my husband's father died when he was eight and he was only 42. There's no guarantees in this life. I'm, I'm the product of our older parents and um, I really feel that, that I was deprived. I, was, I feel as though I was brought up by grandparents. I mean, I am lucky my mother's still alive, but my kids never really knew their father. Um, I had my kids when I was when I was 19. I had my I'm a twin and I had twins, and uh, my twins now are 30. But they still haven't had any kids. <laughs> I'm waiting for my grandchildren. I think what's, what's necessarily wrong about being brought up by people who you perceive as grandparents? Um, I mean, I'm in exactly the same position. My father and mother were, were older, not Charlie's. Well, it, I'm innocent I mean, but. Uh, they were, they were getting on a bit. Uh, I felt, certainly when I was uh, at school age, that, that my father was obviously a generation older than all my school friends. Right. right. But I don't think yeah. that was a... It didn't well, affect me in a... It, I think oh, dear, I'm being brought up by my granddad. Well, it affected us. I, I, I look back on it now and I can see that we didn't get the social life that our but generation. Did you get, did you it's not up to you your know, parents to provide you with a social life. Well, it is. Yes, I mean, it is. They've been us into the world. They should, they should help begin, us out. Begin to make your own social life as early as possible. My, my, my father was, was A, very strict because he was almost a Victorian. Uh, are all the parents stricter? Yes. I have to I mean I have to say that mine was, was of a particular generation which was before the First World War when he was brought up. Yeah. He had a very strict attitude. I mean I, I was brought up by Victorians, you know, they actually were born in the Victorian one, one, era. Like you get they're so strict sometimes, you've got to wear what they tell you to wear. They want you to wear old, their fashion shoes. Yeah, what do you mean? It's rubbish for you, you but it wasn't rubbish for me. It, that's how it was with me. My yes. got really got 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 to him. It's individuals. I, my father was 61 when I was born. So he's now just had yeah. his 88th birthday. Yeah. I think my father's much more relaxed than any other of my father. parents. Not, not, right, so it's individuals. So you really can't, strict. exactly, so you can't, can't listen to pop say. music. You can't say yeah. just because somebody... You can't somebody... listen to pop music. Hang on. What, do you listen rubbish. to the pop music, Charlie? Uh, I'm not interested in it. He's not no, interested like in pop, pop music. music. Do you, do you, are you, are you <laughs> able to... Some parents let you listen to pop music. Hey, we were there last yeah. night. He's 42. Yeah, that's it's that's individual. True. It's individual. Where were you I've there got... last night? Albert Hall. Hall. Albert, I was just yeah, Eric Clapton. Yeah. yeah. You go to... Sometimes you can be in a party, right? And the old bloke next door is going... You turn the bleeding music off. Hang on. 40... How old... You're 42. 42. How old were you when you had your last... Oh, I've only had one. It was, it's, uh, I was 14. Hey, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Eerie. Can you see the... Can we get a close-up? Look at this. This is... He's not old-fashioned, old is he? I'm outside His earring's us. longer than yours. <laughs> 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 Come on. No, he, you're saying yeah. he's out of touch. He doesn't relate. He can't hear somebody. He was at Eric and Clapton's concert last night. And he's... And he's what? Look. I've got two girls by my first marriage. They're now in their 20s. Ray's known them since they were 10. Yeah. They relate to him as a dad. Yeah, We've now got a let me say please. Yeah, We've on. now got a little boy of eighteen months. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's not, more fun. I'm not, I wasn't saying that every day. He still day, plays football. Every He's still in the London like that, Marathon. But a lot of them. No, it's you get individual. More listen, 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 don't, don't, listen, don't judge listen. everybody. It's individual. Yeah. I was yeah. more strict with my girls when I was young because I was very worried about what was right and wrong. Mm. Now I've lived. I've got a lot more living You're to more do. Relaxed. Yeah, I'm more relaxed. Mm. If I think something's wrong, I don't worry about it. It's wrong. What, you're I've more got the mature yeah. and mellow. We're talking about I'm fathers, though. Do you feel that? Are you yes. more confident? I mean, this was yes. a point that, in fact, I think Charlie said earlier, uh, right at the beginning. I wasn't ready to more... settle down when I was younger. I was still living. What so, I call. Right. But now you are. <laughs> yeah. You're more... Sammy Wild Oaks, if you like. Yeah. You mean life stopped saw, when you I had children. I saw your children. eyes, yeah. Uh, there is... All I noticed when I was <laughs> talking here earlier on, can you see this? Yeah, yeah, two of them. It's an, oh, he's got two. I didn't notice it because I can only see one side of your face. You trendy as well, then, with your gold earrings. Well, 
I, I, thought, I, I think I, you must be the first 71-year-old I've seen with ear, with <laughs> man with earrings, pierced yeah, I, ears. I, I served in the army quite a long time. I was in India when I was a boy on the frontier. And uh, people might say, this year there, this, this is the 4th Indian Division Thai, one of the fantastic divisions there was. I was also in the Seventh Armour Division. And they, they were very strict, yeah. and they were worse than some of the Are you strict? But, yes, up to a point. Are you conscious that you might be more strict perhaps in the younger generation than in my, my generation, or um, going down perhaps a generation again to Richard? Are you, you more if, st- if I say to my son, I want such and such a thing done, I want it done. Yeah. I don't want it done half hour's time. Richard, you're sure... Well, that sounds done. like the Indian uh, Army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want him to talk Stephen? back to you, is that what you're saying? Hang on, hang on. You don't want him to answer you back, is that what you're saying? You my don't want him to have a discussion if he doesn't want to do it and he's got a good reason for not doing it. You won't let him have a discussion about it. You just expect it He kicks it his done. boots off like that and lays back on the settee, you know. Oh, the television's great. Hey, what's this lot? I said, I'll fall over that lot in a minute. Come on, I said, get him moved away. The old kids <laughs> do that, I don't know. <laughs> That sounds like an older dad to me. <laughs> but what's the worst thing about being an older father? You've all talked about what the good things are. The old, right? the what's, the, thing. what's the worst thing, any of you? What's the worst thing that the drawback? The, 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 worst, the worst thing, I think, of uh, an older dad with young children... No, no. He's dying that? before you actually see your yeah. end of your production. Yeah. End of your production? No, you, yeah. mean, you mean well, your children? My, your my children, my children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, my boy's 12, I'm 71. I hope I've got a good, good life, in, uh, more, more in front of me. <coughs> I've, got a, I've had a very, very active life. That was the point that my friend made over there, in effect, when she said it's selfish, didn't she, to, to have children at the kind of age that you did, and perhaps Charlie and, and even Roy, yeah. that, one, that it's not fair to the children because they, get, they mm. with a, you know, whatever you might say about how healthy you are, um, there is a limit, isn't there, yeah, how well, long you're here for? Today. Yeah, could, we all could, mind. Yeah. But, um, the, but, you, but we know that's more likely to happen the older you are, and you're depriving of your kids of their parents at an age when it's unfair. Do you feel that? Yeah, I do, because like when my dad, like when I was younger, he could play football with me, but like, he didn't like, match up to Is your dad here? Yeah. Is this your dad? Oh, your dad at the end? Yeah. 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 Gone. This so, is his brother. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And how, old, how old were you, dad? Me? Well, You've been here before, haven't you? Yeah. 44 when I had him. You were 44? I was when I had him. Right. And uh, 22 when we had him. Right. Mary was 18. Are and you conscious of, of that? What was just being said about you being. Yeah, he's more you're not going to see the end of your production? He, he says I'm strict. I don't think I'm strict. Because, like, when he was young, he, had more ch- he didn't have a lot of chances, but now he says there's more chances in this world. What way is he strict with you? Like, you know, trying to get jobs and work and school and things like that. What, he expects higher standards yeah. of you? He's tougher like, on you. Say if I get a B in some paper or something, he said, why is it an A? Yeah. But you, you, you <laughs> responded straight away to this feeling that you feel. Do you feel insecure because your dad's older? Well, that someone's no, gonna. Not really. Don't answer for him, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything she said. Yes, no, yes, no. And everyone is contradicting you. Did you know that? <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched. Of course he does. It's, it's all right with me, but you know, he's just strict. He's strict. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he's any stricter than he was with me. Oh. If I think he's very strict with me. But he was strict with you? Yeah. Do you, those of you who are the children of, of older fathers, do you feel don't, that? Don't you think, don't, what about your friends, their parents? Don't they care about their results for their exams? Yeah, they do, yeah, I suppose, but like I was saying, like, he, he didn't have a lot of chances, but I'm supposed to have a lot of chances now. Yeah, but his brother's a good example. He has a degree. Yeah, and he's, he's and look at his desk, look at his desk. He's, he's 34. He's 34, look at his desk. Look at his How does it affect your, your relationships if you are an older father? How does it affect the relationship between husband and, and wife? If, if one is strict, it makes no difference to the relationship as regards the children. Well, I'm very strict, and my wife as well, <coughs> on what the children are allowed to do. They're not allowed to stray around the village. We like to know who they're with, and we're very strict yeah. about it. We've only got a quarter of an acre garden, but uh, they can... But what about them. your relationship with your wife? Is that different when you're an older father than it would be if you were, when you were younger? None whatsoever. No. What's it might depend on the age <coughs> between yeah. the older... Fa- I mean, there was 17 years between my parents. So my mother was the age when I was born that I am now. Mm. And I think it must depend on the age gap between. Yeah. There, that, are there any of you... Yes, yeah, sorry. <coughs> There's 25 years between my wife and myself. Mm. This is our daughter. Yeah. I think we have, in fact, I know we have a very good marriage and a very close relationship. 
Is it better because you're more mature in the way you deal with the children, that you're more experienced, that as our friend behind here was saying, you're more relaxed, if there's things wrong you can kind of deal with them, you're more experienced, does that help your relationship? Yes, do you feel that any of you? It, it you yeah. Stephen? Be more experienced. I mean, if you're 16 and you have a baby, and you're 17 and you have a baby, you still got to both learn to change a nappy. You're just to more feed experienced. It. To you can't life. be more experienced. No, with but you're children. more. You've, you've seen more <coughs> of life. You've got through, say, your career yeah, or that whatever. Help you change you've changed your nappy, does it? No, it doesn't. But it doesn't. It doesn't mean to say that you're any better just because you're a bit younger. It's not no, that well, difficult. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but you're saying you're saying mature people are the ones who've got the experience. The experience. We. I, I know. I know what to do when I had my sons. I was 17. I know what to sure. do. I know how to change nappies. But it's, nappy it's not things like changing nappies. But you just came like the mature people are better. Yeah. Mature it's people when your are children better. are adolescents. It's when they're going through problems. If yeah. you're a mature yeah. person, then you're going to have more of a I chance don't, of don't working that out. No, 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 it's rubbish. Oh. I really don't agree with that. Stephen, Stephen, go on, Stephen, Stephen. Hang on, go on, Stephen. I really don't agree with that because my mum and dad aren't that much older than me. Mm -hmm. I'm 16 now. And I've got friends that have got older mums and dads, yeah? Like, I'm. One of the, I'd always be the odd one out because my friends at school, we're all fifth years now, and uh, they've all got older brothers and sisters. And their mums and dads don't seem, I think it's individual, but their mums and dads don't seem to be as interested as my mum and dad. Well, I was the opposite because I found that my father was very interested in what I was doing and we had a very relaxed relationship. And I think it's purely down to whether you have a, you have a good relationship with your individual parents. Not really what, what age they are. It's irrespective of the age. Oh, she's lost a ball. What about <laughs> what are the other, are there times when any of you decide that you're not gonna that you wouldn't have children if you got older parents? Have you got an older husband? Yes, 25 years older than I am. How old is he? 66 next month. And how old are you? 40. Have you got have you had older children? Um, no, uh, my son's from a previous marriage. I actually uh, terminated a pregnancy ten years ago because we felt he was too old. Because your husband, you, you felt your husband was too old. Mm. How old was he then? Fifty-six, fifty-five, fifty-six. Right. So you took a de so all right. You got pregnant. You took a quite deliberate decision then not not to have the baby. When mm -hmm. you say he's too old, what were the re that was the reason. But why? What were you afraid of? I think what these people have just been saying that. Yeah. Um, he wouldn't be around. That's the, the your husband wouldn't be around. Possibly wouldn't be around as the child was growing up. I mean, I found that with my dad, um, all right, there is always the idea that perhaps, you know, he could die sooner than a younger dad, but it's always meant that I've not taken for granted the time that I've got with him, like Christmas. I've always felt, you know, I really want to make the most of this because I don't know how much longer I've got. I mean, nobody knows how much longer they've got with their parent, but it, it is much more obvious. But in a way, that's putting nobody. pressure on you, isn't it? You no. feel, you are, that means, well, there's a sense of pressure there that you've got to make the most of it, because you, obviously, I've always you, no, it. if you think about it, you are acting unnaturally, because no. I didn't act like that with my parents. I hope my kids don't act like that with me. I'm sure Stephen doesn't act like with his dad. You don't feel the, that you've got to make the most of it because dad might. No. Right. It's Where, so, so you are, you're actually but I never got behaving uptight. differently because your father's old. No, no, I never got uptight about it. But it, it was just that it was the quality of time rather than quantity of time. I mean, me and my dad, we've had some lovely times together. We've been out, we've, we've walked, we've done so much. Oh and yeah. I've got so, so, so well, yeah, yeah. I've, well, of course. But I've got happy memories, even though he's so older. Are there any of you who had older, an older father were, feel that kind of insecurity, that anxiety, or any of the problems that you feel? You, you are an older father. Of those, did you have older father too? Oh, no, no. no. no of those of you with older parents, not feel that any sense of uh, anxiety or having to <coughs> make... No, never, never at all. Where's, sit down where's... and contemplate death when you're about 12 or 14. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you yeah, just get on with it. Yeah, and, and if it's a good relationship, it's a good relationship. You well, we've all done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Well, you should, Richie, you should do. For Richie, yeah. um, if anything happened to us, and we're relatively young, I think, but if anything happened to us, we've made a will out, yeah. making sure that Richie is looked after by Ray's right. sister and her husband, who have young so children. So you've made different arrangements he than sees, you might otherwise. He yeah. sees them oh, regularly. Yeah. He plays with them yeah. regularly. Although he would feel the loss of us, he would still be with people that he feels secure and loved with. It's not the same, with. though, is it? 
it wouldn't be the same, but Never would it be for same, anybody? No, of course but it isn't. It's but the likelihood higher. is higher, yeah. isn't it? The loss would be better. Um, wouldn't be as bad as if we hadn't covered that. What? Do you ever feel embarrassed that you got it? You talked about school wit. Yeah, who says you? Yeah, I haven't even finished the Simpsons. The hang on, hang on. Go on, go on. I was playing football once, and um, my friend goes, "Is that your granddad over there watching you?" <laughs> 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 yeah. So you you, you said, feel that? Your granddad, yeah. Are there other things like that where you've been made to feel that your parents are? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah, about all my mum dad only about What about you, Wes? Did you? Do you, do you feel embarrassed? I, no. Because well, you're made I, to feel I, different or awkward? No, or... I was never embarrassed by the fact that he was a lot older than other kids' parents. I can remember being embarrassed uh, about things he did because like, of his my, age. My, like my dad now, I felt embarrassed sometimes, right, because he was, like, more strict. And like, I would just go to the park. He used to want me home about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, when my other parents were like, let them stay out later because they were young. My dad come to the park with a bleeding strap and he strapped me all the way home. Oh, oh, yeah. I felt embarrassed. You see, they were just too strict. He was too strict. Yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't get there. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Go. Why should I go, with, you, why you, should I go yes, at 7 o'clock when I know it was, you know Because, I mean? because, and I don't care no, it's how you're old. because of older men's views. I don't care how old the parent is. Yeah. If they care about their child, they yeah. will set rules and regulations. Yeah. And the rule and the regulations about going out in the evening, yeah. when it's dark particularly, I would yeah. want my child home at 7 o'clock at night if they'd been, I wouldn't even let them down the park at this time of with the, with the this is a young mum. This is a young mum. I'm only remember. 33. Sorry? I mean, not that young, but. That's <laughs> young. <laughs> Everyone's on about being strict. Were you embarrassed? Oh, no, because you're not. No, you're no, you're, no, you're no. a proper age. Everyone's aren't you? on about being strict, but my father is less strict than what I am with my children. Mm. Yeah. Was he more indulgent? He is, yes. With his oh, but that's perhaps children. his personality, I am, though. I am with but my no, he's because he, he's had it once before. He's done it all before. He's made the mistakes the first time round, like we all do. Now he's got his second family, and Judith's wonderful as well, and they've got these two little girls who are absolutely fantastic, and he's got the patience. Oh, look at the, the smile time. on his face. Look at this, can you see him? He's surely brimming over. What a wonderful family you've got. I wanted to got. tell you the embarrassing bit. I'm 19 and a mother, my husband's 22, and we have a nine-month-old baby, and I think we've got more patience than an older person. I mean, staying up More all, than an older person. Yes, yeah. I mean, we've got to... Oh. I was up till four o'clock, five o'clock the other night, and then you've got to carry on the rest of the day. Oh, got you've got to more go energy to work, as well. You've got more energy, and then when the children are grown up, then you've got the rest of your life to lead. I mean, then you're not too old to That's do what you want to do. Yeah. The time now, my kids are grown up. The last ten years have been fantastic. I've got my freedom, I've got the companionship of my kids. Um, and I've got the next generation to look forward to, please go on. We miss out a lot when they're younger. When they get older, then you can carry on doing things that they're doing. What, so you're saying it's better to have children when you're younger? Yes, I do. Because you can lead your life then with them and you can have a kind of life... Well, I was 17 when I had my daughter. I mean, I missed out a lot because I think I fell pregnant before I even went on a honeymoon. I was 16 when I had my first baby and I don't remember anything about, it, you know, how she grew up. Or how he did. You see, I think it's. I believe having a young, you family. know, to be a young family. But sometimes so I think it's wrong. So you're disagreeing with you? Yeah, yeah. The, the I'm disagree about it, yeah, because I miss all my best life, and I don't remember nothing about my life because I had the children. I was 18. <coughs> excuse me. I was 18 when I had my first son, and now he's thir well, nearly 31, and we thoroughly enjoy life. My husband. I mean, and I, I do enjoy now with my children. I, I mean, I've got four. I go out with my son. I go out with my daughters. I mean, we do everything together. But I think I wish I had them a bit later. But when we, I got married, it was the, the, the dumb thing that you actually got married. You had your children. You stayed at home. My husband said to me, "You'll never work. That's rubbish." You know. But I didn't work until my children were five or six. Those of so those of you who've had young, uh, had older parents, has it affected the way you've had your family? Yeah, because uh, I had mine uh, yeah. when I was young. Because, you know, because, because they were... Yeah, sure. Be because I felt I missed out so much yeah. that so I, I, I wanted to... That's what I think. I missed a lot, of, you know, yeah, you that I was supposed to be enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. the older your parents are, the bigger the generation gap, the less you can relate to them, go to them with your problems and talk to them. Even yeah. after yeah. what we've been yeah. going on... Uh, yeah, I still get that. Well, the you feel you find... Yeah. What you find it more difficult to relate to Roy? I could yeah, get to my Then you would to Stephen. To relate to a young parent. Yeah. I mean, it's like my my father was very young, and I couldn't go to him for anything because I was too scared. Because I don't do know, that. we can't. I, I couldn't even talk to him. 
My um, parents are still in their 40s. They have four grandchildren. And, I mean, they were even there at the birth of my child. I mean, they yes, yeah. and they yeah. see my child every day. I mean, they're part of his life. That's and that's, yeah, it's I mean, really and they're young, and they they can take him away. They can do what they want with yeah, him. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I don't know. My children's yeah. fine. I know when I go to visit my grandparents and spend time with them, I find it very difficult to relate to them because they're your that grand? much older. How old are your grandparents? Um, <laughs> Within reason, yeah. But um, well, no, they needn't be as old as Roy. No. Yes, I know. Are they as old as Roy? They're probably not as old as Charlie, are they? And yet, Charlie, look at Charlie sitting there with Saul and William there, and he's relating to them. Charlie's eighty. I bet Charlie's older than your grandparents. Yeah. How old are your parents? My mum's thirty-seven. So your grandparents could be fifties, couldn't they? Something. Yeah, fifties early. They're young. <laughs> it's hard to live up to their standards. Are they set certain standards which they've set for my mum? And I find it hard to to live up to them. But surely those standards are up to the individual. I don't think it's a generation-based idea at all. Standards. Everyone's got different standards, not necessarily a different generation. For my children. Hang on, I think whatever generation you are, you've got to communicate with each other, and that's um, something a lot of yeah, people Yeah, you can don't. say that. We're all saying that, and that's absolutely true. It's a matter of the individual, your background, your personality, your character. You can be a really strict, authoritarian, disciplinarian at 20, can't you, Stephen? Mm -hmm. And be quite liberal and permissive yeah. at 60, yeah. 70, because that's your, your nature. Yeah. But, what it, but, but leaving all that to one side, you'd expect... The older you are, you are less in touch with younger people no, and what they... So. You know? Yeah, you are. You are. No. no, I don't think so. Never. Not for one minute. The older you are, the more mature you are, the more able you are to offer them advice and give them guidance, which they're young. Are you an older dad? Are you an older dad? No, I'm not an older dad. You know, we give advice. He was a young dad, my husband, but I was a product of a 45-year-old father, and yet he had matured his interests and this is what I think the young parents haven't really got their interests started. And my You've father, got loads, because... Got loads of interest, got loads yes, of interest. Yes, but they are, they, are, they are not ones that go on for a long time. They change. They, they're like no, the women. No, 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 no. Your, kids, your kids are your interest. Your kids are your interest, and then as they so grow away from them. you, then you've got... You've still got to, to mould them, haven't you? You've got you to like, bring them up in a certain say, way. You want to bring them up in a certain way. Yeah, we do a bit of everything. If you haven't got time because you're trying as a working class person, as I am, to make a living, you haven't got time to do all these things. When you're older, you've got the time and the maturity to do it. Um, they talked a lot about um, running around and playing football, but those are not the only things that you can do. I mean, my, my father was an excellent swimmer. Yeah, that doesn't the take them do running do. around. We go so, fishing. Yes, well, we, we went swimming place, from a very young age. Yeah. It was There's a lot of things you can do. Ask me son what we do. Ask his son. His son's had his hand up. Let's ask your son, then. My dad's won medals and hmm? stuff. Your dad's won medals. Is it? Is it? More, do you think, which do you think would it be more difficult if you, if, if Roy and um, is that a rotten question? Saying is Roy? Yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> you, you, what is? What's what's the bigger thing about your dad being younger? He can run with me. Can you? You can run with him. Can you run with your children, Roy? Of course. I can <laughs> beat them even. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly little Sophie. You, you, <laughs> sorry, Roy. What? I can beat little Sophie running. <laughs> How long do you think that be going on for, yeah. though? How long do you think that? How long that's going on for? This, unfortunately, is where we have to stop. Whoever you are, whatever your age is, take care of yourselves and your kids, and we'll be here in the morning. See you then. Thank you. Very much.